watching the Highlight Zone with Wayne 15 Sports Director Glenn Marini. Local sports coverage you can count on. We can really guard any anybody, any team. I mean, just play together, listen to coach, execute. It was hard for us that night. You know, we all we all came out, played hard. You know, for him because he that's what he do. He'd come out, he'd play hard. We want to keep him off the boards, be strong with the ball control it, make the game have to go at our pace. Keep us chip on our shoulder, don't get too hot-headed, you know. We're not done yet, so we want to keep going hard and make sure we get that championship. Well, the ladies are already playing for some postseason hardware, but for the fellas, right now it's about crowning conference champions. Uh, we'll for sure do that in the NE8 and in the ACAC tonight of the Highlight Zone. As for the SAC, that would depend on how things would shake out between Southside and Wayne. Josh Ahan, starting us off with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Josh. All right, Glenn, last season, the Generals winning the SAC title outright for the first time since 1976. A win by Wayne on Friday, and the Generals would make it back-to-back -back conference crowns. But standing in their way, a Southside squad playing inspired ball after the passing of former standout Jaden Morris. That includes the Archers knocking off two way number two lures this past Tuesday. Southside of Wayne, your highlight zone game of the week. First year head coach Anthony Brewer and the Brew Crew coming off a key win over Homestead on Tuesday. But as we mentioned, Southside looking a lot sharper lately. And in the first quarter, that's Cadell Wallace putting Wayne, uh, excuse me, Southside in front early. Wallace, meanwhile, with a team I 13, but Chase is on the case. That's Chase Barnes with two of his 11 as Wayne is up by three after one. Second quarter, it's Southside on the breakaway. Javon Irby with two as Wayne's lead is trimmed down to two. But Javon Lewis pulls up for a pair as Wayne is up by six heading into halftime. Now the Generals are able to march onward and upward after that. How about Trey Dillard? Duncan one down for two, and then it's Dillard going to work again down low with a putback and punishment. Dillard with a team high 14 as Wing is up by 17 after three. Final quarter, it's Caitlin Williams Thomas with the and one. He finishes with a dozen as well as Carrington Terry, and the Generals march on to another SAC title. Wayne takes down Southside 68-52. Uh, just we stayed to our game plan, you know, we came out a little sluggish, but uh, when we went into halftime, you know, we just got on each other, you know, made sure that we held each other accountable, and it worked out. It's, it's great. It's a great feeling doing it two times in a row. Just keep working hard how we've been working, uh, lock in, and just be ready to, for whoever we play. It's been special to be a part of. Um, it's been special to watch. Uh, we just got a special group of kids that are, they're, they're so fun to celebrate. Um, and I couldn't be happier for them than I am right now. Next up, Southside is at Leo on Tuesday, while Wayne wraps up SAC play next Friday at Concordia.